What's up, YouTube, and cheers. Uh, today we we're going to revisit a particular point in kind of what I think of as an evolutionary chain of something. In the past on this channel, we've spoken about many things, politics, economy, and evolution. And how when things arrive at the same spot, from all across the globe arriving at the same spot, it's called evolutionary convergence. That's why things like AIDS and Shmishmona virus uh, attack our immune systems. A lot of things do. Uh, because, I mean, the viruses are through it's not really a learning because they're not a sentient being but that we know of from our understanding of viruses they're not sentient as we understand them right now but what i'm just saying is they're coming to the same conclusion that is to take down a human you attack the immune system right well at some point there was i don't want to say like i don't know it's almost like a parking spot I don't, in a way of evolutionary cutlery convergence where the many things that make, I guess what I'm trying to get is they were like, let's fold some steel and put a blade between it. You know what I mean? So we're going to buzz through this. I might not get everything exactly right, but we're gonna end with something I thought I would never do, a giveaway, or the news of a giveaway. All right. So on the left, we'll start with the smaller Duke. There are like four or five sizes of the Duke. This is one that is UK legal and very, very nifty in the pocket. It's light. The only real problem is, is if you drop it, you're never going to find it again because someone will take it because it looks cool. I've got that one. And I've got... Both of them, the traditional... <coughs> Boogeyman Duke Duke. These were for a different island, basically. These are the Easter Island heads that I think are all gone now. You can't even go to Easter Island now because somebody burnt one of the heads or something like that. I don't know. This is not broken. I mean, the snap on these things when you first get them is just ridiculous. This snap... It's still there, but this is this is a well seasoned, you know, veteran Duke. This isn't something to be played with. But <coughs> being more broken, it's less of that gator snap. This is the model sold in France. I think that's how all of them. But there was a time that this was the model that was sold in France, and it's got this little squirrel, and then spear point. This is the Fred Perrin Duke. Fred Perrin is a former commando. So usually if you're talking about Fred Perrin, you're talking about either the Pokey Stabby or the Slice and Dicey. Jeez. These are the Niga Nakami or Higa Nakami knives. Got a little guy, and then we got a big guy. Then we have the K9 or K55 Mercator. 
one of the newer versions that are really like, like very stout of blade and there's not very much flex. I have an older one that has a stud to open it. I don't know where it is right now. Honestly though, I would, if I were another person, I would keep it a two handed opening knife. Then we have a Japanese knockoff of the K55 Mercator stainless steel. I mean, if you don't like torque on it, it's fine, but as soon as you get to going on it, like you shouldn't even be putting a pressure on it like that. But and this is what I'm gonna give away eventually. This is in the next few videos. Yeah, I was just dragging some old knives out and uh, ran back into these guys. Very cool stuff. Um, I'll probably at some point end up giving these away. I mean, I strictly have some of these, although I really do like the Higonokami knives. Um, the, one of the dudes is still making them, so it makes sense to buy them still now. Before that's, Although I think he does have people in his family he's passing on all that information too. The Fred Perrin Duke. If there was a slip joint to fight with, I think this would be it, but... It's still, I mean, it runs into the same problems as any slip joint is that it, it can close. But it is in, uh, it's kind of fashioned after the Vendetta knife. I think this is even called the Vendi Duke. It had a kind of strange tribal pattern on it that uh, I sanded off and then I um, used, right, what is it called? It's not sight black, it's, it's, I mean, it's not aluminum black. I think it's steel, bluing, it's been blued. This has been aluminum blacked and this has been blue. And I can tell you right now the bluing is gonna last longer. That I would pull these out and review them. As you can see, they have big bales for lanyards and other type things of retention. I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. I'm thinking I'm basically just gonna post a video and then set, you know, have people comment. <coughs> I'll pick a comment. I'll tell you to email my channel email, and then we'll go from there with your address. Yeah, all of these are very formidable as tools. And this little one doesn't get enough action. It is the, oh no. This is a slip, no, slip joint version of the uh, K55 Mercator, the only locking blade on the table of which this is a clone. So the clone will be given away. Yeah, that's about all she wrote for this one. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye now.